And our top story today, President Barack Obama is addressing the nation and the widespread problems with the health care laws roll out while administrators rush to get those glitches fixed. Right now, we are on your side. We're answering any questions you have about the Affordable Care Act. You can see that number scrolling across the bottom of your screen. You can call in our helpline to get all of your questions answered. Right now, ABC's Karen Travers has the latest from Washington. Health care coverage at your fingertips with just a few clicks of a mouse. On October 1st, Obamacare's online insurance exchanges opened up with great expectations, but there have been major technical problems. Healthcare.gov. The new website where people can apply for health insurance and browse and buy affordable plans in most states hasn't worked as smoothly as it was supposed to work. So far, 19 million people have logged on, only to find confusing error messages, broken calculators, wrong information on Medicaid eligibility, and long delays and timeouts. It's just one dead end after the other. Dan Howard of Pennsylvania told ABC News he tried to sign up for more than two weeks. I go to log on. And it won't let me on because I'm not verified as being me. The Department of Health and Human Services spent $500 million to build the site, and it's acknowledged it has bugs. We know using healthcare.gov has been frustrating for many Americans, the department said in a blog post this weekend. A visit to the website is kind of like a trip to the Department of Motor Vehicles in your state. HHS said yesterday it was bringing in some of the best and brightest inside and outside the government to fix the technical issues. The Obama administration says folks like Dan Howard need to be patient and keep trying. My advice is to understand that this is a, uh, a six-month open enrollment period, uh, that we're making continuous improvement. HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius is on the hot seat. Republicans are demanding she testify before Congress to explain all these problems. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.